In this video, we're going over how to set up your voicemail on a Metro by T-Mobile or Metro PCS phone. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. And in the video today, I'm gonna to walk you through how to set up your voicemail on any Metro by T-Mobile or Metro PCS phone. It's a really easy process and let me take you through it. After I show you how to set it up, then we will talk about how to check your voicemails after that. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is go to your phone application and make sure you're on the keypad and you're basically going to call yourself. You're gonna dial your phone number. So let's enter our phone number now. And then we're gonna hit the call button and I'll tap on the voicemail so you can hear the prompts. So it's asking us to enter our password. Now you're probably saying, I just bought this phone, I don't have a password. What you're gonna do is hit the keypad button and you wanna enter the last four numbers of your phone number. So let's do that now. And then hit the pound sign. Okay, so now we're in the voicemail service and it's gonna ask us to set up our voicemail. I will be helping you set up your voicemail in three easy steps. Creating a password, recording your name, and creating a greeting. You will need to create a new password. Otherwise, you will be prompted again the next time you call your voicemail. Let's get started by creating a password. Enter your new four to nine digit password. Then press the pound sign. Okay, so I'm gonna make the password one, two, five, four, and then we're gonna hit the pound sign. Your new password is one, two, five, four. If you are satisfied with your password, press pound. Now we're gonna hit the pound sign to save the password that we just set. you call your voicemail, press one. Delete this feature off, press two. So now it's asking, do you want it to prompt you to enter your password every time you go to voicemail, or do you want to change it so that when you call your number, it automatically goes to voicemail? I would tell you to uh, turn it on as an extra measure of security so you wouldn't allow anyone to just go into your phone and dial your number. So I'm gonna press the one, and that's gonna turn on that feature to add that extra level of security. So now we can record what we want our greeting to be. Then press pound. Wayne Jones. So you'll say your name. If you are satisfied with your recorded name, press Then we'll hit one to save that greeting. Next, you will record a personal greeting. If you would like to use your name as your greeting and skip to the end of your voicemail setup, press two. I'm gonna press the two. So um, when someone calls and it goes to voicemail, it's just gonna say my name and that's it. And now I'm gonna hit the red button to end the call. So that is it. We've just set up our voicemail. Now, next we're gonna go over how we check our voicemails using the visual voicemail app. So there is an app that comes preloaded on Metro phones that will allow you to check your voicemail. So let's go home and I'm gonna just swipe up and there's usually uh, an app in the Metro by T-Mobile folder. So find that in your app section and it'll say visual voicemail. Now, some of you might be using a phone that you didn't buy from Metro and you may not have this app on the phone. So no problem, if you don't have it, you're gonna just simply go to the Play Store and do a quick search. Just type in visual voicemail visual voicemail, one word. And then you could type in Metro and then hit the search. And you'll wanna look for the one that says visual voicemail uh, by Metro PCS, or it'll say by Metro by T-Mobile. So it could say one or the other, it's gonna be this app right here. And then you'll just download this app on your phone and then you can use the visual voicemail service on your phone, okay? So let's go to the app here and go to visual voicemail. And uh, this is the first screen you'll see when you open it. We're just gonna hit next, hit allow, allow. 
It's gonna activate the account. And so what's gonna happen is now when people call you, um, you don't have to uh, call the phone to check your voicemail. You can check your voicemails using this app, which is really convenient. So I'm gonna hit, uh, let's see, it says visual voicemail now includes enhanced caller ID at no charge. I would say thanks, include that. Hit allow. So now we're in the visual voicemail system here. And now this is where you're gonna see all of your voicemails. So I, it'll show the date of the call. It'll show the phone number that called you and you can tap on it and then you can hit the play button here to play back the message. And in this case, the person didn't actually say anything, but a voicemail was recorded. So I can then pause it. I can hit the call button. If I wanna call that person back right now, I can hit messages to initiate a text message to them, or I can hit the trash can at the top and I can trash the message, so delete it. You can also hit the lock at the top here if you want to lock this voicemail so that um, it can't be deleted. All right, but I'm gonna delete it just to get rid of it because now that we've looked at it and we've listened to it, I don't need it anymore. It's deleting and so that's pretty much it guys. That, so that's the process to check a voicemail and here's what I would encourage you to do. If you hit your home button, and let's go back to where the app is in the Metro by T-Mobile folder. Hold down on the app for one second and then you wanna drag it to your home screen. Now you'll be able to get to your voicemails easily just by tapping on the icon on your home screen. So when people call you and you get a notification that says you have a voicemail, again, all you have to do is tap on the app and it's gonna show you all of the most recent voicemails you have so you can listen to them, you can uh, respond to them or you can delete them. So that's it. Hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.